Welcome to the channel. I'm so glad you found me. My name is Andrea and today we are going to talk about text to media connections. If you have any thoughts or new ideas, drop them in the comments below. And if you feel moved to do so, smash that like button and subscribe to my channel. So text to media connections connect the book we are reading to something that we have seen or heard or have experienced from in the movies, TV, radio, computer, internet, or some other social device. Remember, there are three goals with our reading connections. We want to help our readers make sense of what they're reading, be very entertained and wanting to keep reading, and three, help with our retaining and recalling skills. As we are practicing this skill, we want to ask questions like, hmm, this book is very similar to a movie I just saw, or hmm, something that happened in this chapter reminds me of a song I just heard. Or something that happened in this book with a character, setting, or plot reminds me of a TV or a movie show that I just saw or the actions behind why the character just made the decision he did. What I find really, really cool is that whether you are in brick and mortar or in virtual school, now more than ever, schools are using this connection um, to text and media to help our students with their work. For instance, as a parent, I really appreciate that a lot of TV shows list objectives in the front of their shows to tell parents exactly what their child can possibly learn from it. For example, Blaze and the Monster Machine uses math, science, engineering, computers, and technology as the base of their show. They also, though, however, just as importantly, introduce kids to tools um, and can actually construct things to help them solve a problem. Can we say STEM? I love it. Bubble Guppies is another great example. They introduce all school subjects and they do it in a very creative way by using the arts. They use song, music, dance, and art in a very catchy way to help, especially with that retaining and calling and being entertained. The Blue's Clues and New Objective, solving puzzles while using teamwork and touching on all school subjects, emphasizing on the social cues and importance of play and your imagination. Santiago of the Seas, they go on quests while promoting teamwork, making good decisions, and for some, learning a new language. Two great examples of text to media connections happen just today. The first one involves Mass Ninja. This book is about learning about how colds and viruses happen and how to stay safe. The student immediately thought of the show Curious George and how George learned about how the man in the yellow hat got his cold and how to stop the spread of the cold. The second example happened with this book, Magic Treehouse, Pirates Past Noon. I was reading this book with my student and they made the connection to one of my favorite movie series, Pirates of the Caribbean. So the couple chapters that we read today are my reader connected the things that were happening, the situation that was happening with Jack and Annie and Captain Bones, how they were similar and different to the characters of Captain Barboza, Jack Sparrow, and all the other misfits in that movie. Even though this is a newer reading connection skill, this is a great strategy on getting kids to understand what they're reading, to get connected and stay connected, and to retain and recall information. I mean, who doesn't love to find connections with the favorite movies or videos or songs in our media world. I hope you found this helpful. Drop in the comments below what text to media connection that your reader found. I'd love to hear it. And until then, stay safe, stay positive, stay confident. I'll see you in the next one.